Hi, I'm Edgar Ramirez, and you are on the set of our Entertainment Weekly cover shoot. The following program. Modern style. This show is about the life and death of Johnny Versace in Miami Beach. If somebody was so beloved, how could, how could this happen? What happened before his death? What happened after? It's a fascinating story. A murder that should have never happened and that could have been avoided had we paid more attention. To be able to shoot in the house where everything happens is nothing but a luxury. This is the spot. Those are the stairs. Those are the gates. That is the pool. You walk into the rooms and, and you can sense, you can sense the story behind it. The very fabric, the veins of this home are, are bleeding his presence. So one day I received a phone call from the one and only Ryan Murphy and uh, he offered me this part and are you kidding me? <laughs> He's a very, very talented director and producer and creator. He just has, he, his mind never stops. This story has everything. It has sex, it has politics, it has history, it has violence. Uh, sensuality, beauty, design, fashion. It's perfect. I mean, dramatically, it's a perfect story. When you think about the murder of Johnny Versace, you think about his murder. Most people don't know the name of the person who killed him, but you know they were shot. You just don't know why. So this kind of explores that. I really wanted to do it, but I, I knew it was going to be a big challenge. And I had a few questions for him, and I saw that he was going to treat this subject with so much respect. That was very important for me because we're talking about real people. I tried to document myself as much as possible, you know, with, you know, through books and, and documentaries and interviews. I was lucky to find people who were kind enough and trustful enough to open up and talk to me. To become the character is the most important part. His uncertainty, his anger, his fears, his pride. The research to me is I'm not like looking up serial killers or the psychology behind that. That's just putting a blanket statement over Andrew and he was certainly one in a million. We all know Donatella Versace. We all know the way she moves, the way she speaks. On top of that, he's somebody that I know and that I respect and admire very much. I think it is amazing when you have the opportunity to tell a story that is so wrenching and moving and at the same time it, it has a social relevance and, and, and brings you to reflection and to have a closer look to the, the society we live in. 